So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the next set of five uh, psalms. We're just gonna go ahead and read um, since we're kind of doing a continuation. Um, but actually, let's go ahead and read the summary of Psalms and then get into it. Psalms is a collection of poems written over a long period. They express the heart of humanity in all generations through a variety of religious experiences. Originally, the Psalms were chanted or sung to the accompaniment of musical instruments. Psalm 21 To the chief musician, a Psalm of David. The king shall have joy in your strength, O Lord, and in your salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips, Salah. For you must meet him with the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of pure gold upon his head. He asked life from you and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever, his glory is great in your salvation, honor and majesty. You have placed upon him, for you have made him most blessed forever. You have made him exceedingly glad with your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Your hand will find all your enemies. Your right hand will find those who hate you. You shall make them as a fairy, fiery oven in the time of your anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them their offspring you shall destroy from the earth and their descendants from among the sons of men for they intend evil against you they devised a plot which they are not able to perform therefore you will not you will make them turn their back you will make ready your arrows on your string toward their faces be exalted O lord in your strength we will sing and praise your power psalm 22 to the chief musician said to the deer of the dawn, a psalm of David. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? And from the words of my groaning, oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not hear. And in the night season and am not silent, but you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and you were delivered. They trusted in you, and you were not ashamed. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men, and despised by the people. All those who see me ridicule me. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him rescue him, let him deliver him, since he delights in him. But you are he who, take, who took me out of the womb. You made me trust while on my mother's breast. I was cast upon you from birth. From my mother's womb you have been my god be not far from me for trouble is near for there is none to help many bulls have surrounded me strong bulls of bashan have encircled me they gape at me with their mouths like a raging and roaring lion i am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint my heart is like wax it has melted within me my strength is dried up like a potsherd and my tongue clings to my jaws. You have brought me to the dust of death, for dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide the, my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far from me. O oh, my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver me from the sword. My precious life from the power of the dog, save me from the lion's mouth and from the horns of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will declare your name to my brethren in the midst of the assembly. I will praise you, you who fear the Lord, praise him. All your descendants of Jacob glorify him and fear him. All your offspring of Israel, for he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard. My praise shall be of you in the great assembly. I will pay my vows before those who fear him. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let your heart live forever. And the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nation shall worship before you. 
for the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over the nations. Shall workshop before you for the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth shall eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust shall bow before him, even he who cannot keep himself alive. A posterity shall serve him. It will be recounted of the Lord to the next generation. They will come and declare his righteousness to a people who will be born that he has done this. Psalm 23. A Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me and all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him who seek your face. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift up your everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Salah. Psalm 25, a Psalm of David. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who deal treacherously without cause. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your trust, your truth and teach me for you are the god of my salvation on you i wait all day remember O oh lord your tender mercies and your loving kindness for they are from of old do not remember the sins of my youth nor my transgressions according to your mercy remember me for your goodness sake O oh lord good and upright is the lord therefore he teaches sinners in the way the humble he guides in justice and the humble he teaches his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall, him shall he teach in the way he chooses. He himself shall dwell in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn yourself to me and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart have enlarged. Bring me out of my distress. Look on my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all their troubles. So the summary of Psalms is a collection of poems written over a long period. 
They express the heart of humanity in all generations through a variety of religious experiences. Originally, the songs were chanted or sung to the accompaniment of musical instruments. So we'll go ahead and end off with a prayer, since we didn't start with a prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing us to live throughout the day and experience not only your joy, Lord, but also your mercy uh, and love. Thank you for allowing us to be consistent with reading the Bible and stay. Allow us to keep with our consistency with reading as well. Let us take the message that we've learned today and apply it to our life and to become your humble and faithful servants, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to have the desire to seek a relationship with you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.